Install the Historian server? Ready to install Historian web-based clients? Hi, I'm Kathleen. I'm a tech writer here at G Digital, and I'm going to walk you through the installation process. So double-click the Historian ISO to open the install media. From the install media, right-click the install launcher.exe file, and then select Run as Administrator. So on the install screen, you're going to click Install Web-Based Clients. The welcome page doesn't automatically appear. Just click Install Web-Based Clients again. Click Next. Click Accept, and then Next again. So you're going to leave the default port assignments, and then click Next. In the Fully Qualified Domain Name box, you're just going to leave this blank unless you're on a domain. Otherwise, you're going to enter the Fully Qualified Domain Name and then click Next. Leave the Use External UAA checkbox cleared. This will install UAA locally. Next, you're going to enter the Admin Client Secret and then re-enter the secret. The secret must satisfy the following conditions. So it must contain at least one number and one letter must not begin or end with a special character, and, and it does not contain curly braces. Very important, make sure you save this information, and then click Next. Here you want to select the Use Existing Configuration Hub checkbox. We're going to use the Configuration Hub instance that we already installed with iFix here. So enter the server name, or the fully qualified domain name of the existing Config Hub server. And then I'm going to leave the default port of 5. Now I'm going to enter the client ID and client secret that I used during the iFix install. And then I'm going to click Test Connection to make sure it works. So you can't proceed until it's successful. Now you're going to click Next. And then I'm going to leave the default and click Next. And I'm going to do it again and then click Next. And then here I'm going to provide the name of the Historian single server I entered when I'm installing the server. And then I'm going to click Next. And finally, I'm going to click Install. So the web-based client installation is going to begin. And then when the install completes, a message appears. So it takes it to close the install. If you're prompted to restart your machine, you could do so at this time. And your installation is complete. This concludes our walkthrough. Thank you for watching.